they were very uh, frightened, very fearful, um, crying out, you know, where are my parents? Where's my friend? Is my friend okay? Well, a caring community immediately helping elementary school students when their school bus crashed into a building. It happened around just after 7 o'clock this morning on Highway 87 in Alamance County. Welcome to the Fox 8 4 o'clock news on this Thursday. I'm Chad Tucker and I'm Natalie Wilson. This is the crash scene here. 18 students were on the bus when it crashed. Seven of them taken to get medical treatment. Two have been released and five students remain at UNC Hospital in Chapel Hill. The bus driver was charged. Fox 8 Sarah Winkleman joins us live at the property where this happened. Sarah, was anyone inside that building when it was hit? Natalie, thankfully nobody was inside. The couple lives next door. They own the building behind me to run their business and the owner had just left the building a few moments before that bus came and crashed into the building. Now it happened to be just at the time when that happened, their nephew was driving by right along the road right in front of their house and he was the first one to come on scene. I was on the phone with my wife. And I was like, uh, let me call you back. Somebody just ran into Uncle Key's shop. Brad Button, a former volunteer firefighter, knew exactly what to do when he ran to the scene. But what he was not prepared for, what he saw when he opened the emergency door. He was in a blue hoodie, bleeding like crazy. And uh, all, all you could hear was the kids just screaming. And uh, I mean, it was like a horror movie. Button and another man worked fast to get all 18 kids out. Even if the bus caught on fire, the building came down, the kids are coming out of that bus. So that was my main focus is just helping get them off. His aunt Angela, who lives in the house next door and owns the building, also jumped in to help. Well, then I just sat down on the middle of the tarp with the kids and um, just tried to love on them and uh, calm them and just be a presence for them because it was, it was chaos. Something she felt called to do as a Christian and a mom. I know that I would want somebody to be with my child and them not have to be alone. A couple of them were crying pretty loudly and I tried to get as many on my lap as I could just to again console them. Counselors came to the scene to speak with students and parents. Later, the counselors were available to all their classmates at B. Everett Elementary School. Counselors are validating those feelings and explaining to those, explaining to those students that it's okay to be scared. Uh, it is okay to be afraid. It's okay to have all those feelings. It's okay to be sad. The driver of the bus, 75-year-old Ronald Farrow, has been with the district since 2010. He was charged with failure to maintain lane. The highway patrol says he went off the road to the right, hit the culvert, and ran into the building. I just can't say enough. You know, I'm very thankful and grateful that God watched after the bus driver, the children, any, um, my husband, who thankfully was not inside the, the business when the bus hit. And right now, there's no water and electric inside of the building. And of course, as you can see, they're going to have to make some repairs to the outside as well as the inside. But the owners tell me, really, that is no big deal. Their main concern here is the kids, and they're just praying that all of them make a full recovery. Live in Alamance County, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.